dramatically up your audio game with this device. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This is the IFI Zen DAC, and it's a relatively unassuming piece of electronics, but whatever source you're using to listen to your music, this will make it sound way better, way better. So I listen a lot through my Mac system, and generally speaking, I just use my headphones and I have these, you know, little 3.5 millimeter jack and everything. And in this case, I actually have a brand new pair of the very nice Biodynamic T1 headphones. So these are really great headphones, but you really always want to give them the best possible audio source you can, right? So that's where this comes in handy. Now I can plug my headphones into the Mac directly, obviously not with this headphone jack on it, but then I just actually get all the audio reproduction capabilities of my Mac system or PC or Linux, whatever it is. And you know, the, it's, it's good, but these devices aren't really designed to give you the best possible audio reproduction. So they sound good, right? Even with great headphones, they sound good. So that's where this comes in handy. This is basically a headphone amp. It supports high res audio and it also works with, and there's a lot of acronyms, there's a lot of data that is really audiophile stuff. So it does PCM DXD to 32 bit, 384 kilohertz, DSD 256. You can download Limoncello firmware onto your Mac or Linux machine and actually get the best possible reproduction. It does MQA, which is master quality authenticated, which is what Tidal uses. So if you've been listening to Tidal because you wanted to get that full, rich sound that's way more than just coming off of a CD or something, then this is going to give you that in a way that your computer never really did that well. So all of that's terrific. Now, there are a lot of switches and buttons. So let me give you a tour and we'll talk about how that all fits together. So on the front, let me actually plug this in. So then you can see the this lights up just you can just barely see it's actually a color code that affirms what type of audio you, it's processing and giving you so that's actually a nice little bit of feedback but on the front you have this power match which is super interesting now many headphones don't need this but for really high-end headphones you really want to have it perfectly match impedance and this has a range this can work with 16 to 600 ohm outputs so whatever kind of headphones or speakers or powered speakers you have this can work with them but if you can match impedance you're going to get the best sound and that's what power match does so power match actually will figure out and it'll get rid of that hiss that you sometimes have so a really great test with all of these devices plug everything in turn everything on put on your headphones turn on your speaker really loud but don't play anything you shouldn't hear anything at all. It should be absolutely silent. If you're getting a background hiss or something, then that can often be an impedance issue. And that's where power match comes in handy. Now, next button over is one that I love. It's True Bass. It is a bass boost system, and it basically gives you more richer, fuller bass. It doesn't give you distortion. It doesn't tampen down anything. It doesn't change your higher end signature. It just gives you a little more oomph on the bass. And for a lot of the music I listen to, that's a really good thing. So I'm a big fan of True Bass. Then this is a volume control, which is nice. So basically it sidesteps the volume control on your source device, generally speaking, right? And then on this side, we have what they call unbalanced, and those are just standard headphone jacks. So this is actually a 6.3 millimeter or one quarter inch. You plug it in and now you're ready to listen. And then IFI has actually adapted what they call balance. This is kind of an interesting, this is a new technology. This is the Pentacon 4.4 millimeter balanced output. And what it is basically replacing is if you're like a real audio person or old school, you remember those XLR dual three pin interconnects? The big, ugly, clumsy. 
That's what the 4.4 millimeter actually replaces. Now, I don't have any gear that I can test that with, but it is worth noting that they have that on the front and on the back. So depending on how you're gonna use this, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And while we're on the back, I shall unplug this and I will give you the tour here. So you have a slider switch that's variable or fixed. Then you have RCA out, if that's your preferred way of doing it for, for example, a pair of speakers. And then you have your digital input and they're using this USB, can't remember exactly what they call it, but the rectangular USB connection and the DAC actually includes this cable, which is USB 3 on one end and that digital USB on the other. So you plug it in, you're good to go. I will note that if you're using a very modern device, you might need a USB 3 to USB-C adapter. Not a huge crisis. This is literally like $3 on Amazon, so it's not a huge investment. Um, and then finally, you have DC input. So if you're using, most audio sources of use that are using USB also power that plug. But if you don't have that, then you do have the option of plugging it into a wall adapter. So, you know, all of that's great. It's a complicated device, but honestly, once you get everything hooked up the way you want, then you're probably not gonna be paying attention to any of that and you're just gonna be enjoying the music. So, let's see. We've talked about the Pentacon 4.4 millimeter. We've talked about headphone output. Let me give you the front of it again. And power match matches your headphone impedance. True bass gives you this great bass boost. Um, 16 to 600 ohm output, total harmonic distortion, ready for this, 0.005%, which means in essence, you really, there's no distortion at all. This is gonna just help you get the full rich sound stage of the source music, and that's really what you want. Um, sound to noise ratio is 113 dBA, what's dBA? A-weighted decibels, right? Again, if you're an audiophile, if you're hardcore into this tech, you'll understand that these specs are pretty sweet. Now, what's your use case? This is probably not something you're gonna have in your laptop bag and use when you're hanging out at Starbucks, but this could be perfect to have on your desk. Uh, if you're at work and you just wanna have the best possible sound, then is, you know, get good headphones, plug them into this, plug this into your source, Mac, PC, whatever it is you have on your desktop, plug it into your laptop and you are really good to go. And if you want a smaller one, I actually also reviewed the IFI hip DAC, which is much smaller than this. And that is designed to be portable and to go with you when you travel. So you might wanna check out that review if you're looking for something that gives you that same huge audiophile jump without actually <laughs> having to be quite this big. But honestly, I find this to be an entirely reasonable size. You know, the previous generation from IFI and their competitors are more like component stereo pieces where it's like, you know, big and square. So having this as they've worked more on their design, it's really nice. It's a nice feel to it. It's aircraft grade aluminum, lots to like here which of course, well, actually, let me give you one more thing. Let me give you the specs. So in terms of dimensions, it's 4.6 inches by four inches by 1.1 inch, and it is about 1.8 pounds. So again, not really intended to be super portable, but once you get it hooked up and set up, then you're great to go. And so we get to sound. And I will tell you that like with these T1s, the T1s already sound good, right? If I just actually plug these into a music source like my Mac system and I'm listening to Tidal or even just listening to iTunes or something, then it's gonna sound really nice. I mean, nice headphones give you nice sound, but you don't realize how much you're missing until you actually add something like this that can do a lot more with the music. So what you get is you get a much bigger sound stage. You get much richer, fuller music this is the kind of device where you close your eyes and just enjoy the music. So arguably, it is a productivity hampering device, right? You're gonna actually be less productive when like your favorite song comes on and you just hear it through this whole setup and you're like, 
oh man, I can't believe I'm streaming off my phone or off my computer and getting this like beautiful like studio level sound. It really gives you that extra boost. It's clean, it's precise, it's not adding any noise, which of course, you know, you can get a really cheap amp and you can just make things louder, but making something louder doesn't make it sound better, it's just louder. This actually keeps that original sound balance. So as you make it louder, it's just everything still sounds really, really nice. I'm a huge fan, in case you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of these sort of things and I love that they're getting smaller too because this might be really great to have at your desk, but I actually travel around a lot. Eh, maybe not right now, but generally speaking, I'm on the move all the time. So a lot of these smaller DAC units are really a great boon. So that plus great headphones or really nice speakers or something can really make a difference. It's really worth checking out. And for all of that and for all of my enthusiasm, it's remarkably inexpensive. But before I get to the price, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know. Give me some feedback. How was this review? What do you wish I would have talked about or shown that I didn't? And finally, um, <laughs> we get to the price. This is the IFI Zen DAC. Pretty darn sweet device. And it's $129.99 at Amazon.com. And I promise you, Whatever sound source you're using, whatever reproduction device you're using, headphones, speakers, whatever, this will make them sound better and you will be a happy person if that level of fidelity is something you want in your life. And you should. If you're going to listen to any music at all, you should listen to it as best you can, right? Because that's what the artists intended. So with that, I'm going to plug everything back in <laughs> and I'm going to like get my little headphone adapter back on here and plug this in and I'm going to get my music going, which means after all of that hullabaloo, I'll catch you in my next video.